And now we turn our attention on the track to the women's 3,000 metres steeplechase. There is your field of 15. Right up on the inside, Genevieve Grigson of Australia. Alongside her, Genevieve Lalonde of Canada, the Pan American champion. Then Celephine Chespo, third on the all time list, double world under 20 champion. Anna Emily Muller, the UK based Dane. Winfred Yavi, world under 20 bronze medalist, Asian champion here in this stadium for Bahrain. Ivan Kiyang, the first of the or the second of the Kenyan trio in this race, drawn at six. The world under 20 silver medalist Peruth Chimatai of Uganda, and here is the world record holder Beatrice Chepkowicz of Kenya, world ranked one. No one has ever run faster than that lady, Luisa Gega of Albania, and here's the defending champion Emma Coburn of the USA, Olympic bronze medalist, of course, but. Successful in London in 2017, defending her title for the US. Makidi Zabebe of Ethiopia, just 18 years of age. Then the exciting, experienced German double European champion, Gesser Krauser. Then we have Kalarina Grovdal, another of the very experienced athletes. Marusa Mishmash of Slovenia, and right on the outside, the silver medalist from last time around, Emma Coburn's teammate, Courtney Ferric. So Emma Coburn, of course, took advantage last time of Beatrice Chepkowicz's sat-nav problems when she missed the water jump and was able to recover only to finish fourth. Emma Coburn, a surprise winner. A championship record time. Nine minutes, two seconds and 58 was what won the title in London in 2017. Best part of seven and a half laps of the track, 28 fixed barriers. And on the next circuit, the water jump for the first of seven times in total. As they make their way into the home straight for the first time, and we know that Beatrice Chepkovic likes to set off at a uh, ridiculous pace sometimes and really put the hammer down early on, but it is Chepkovic right out front from Haven Kiyeng, who's in second place in the early stages. The Bahrainian Yavi in third as they take the first of those barriers. The Ugandan Chemutai is also right to the fore, but Chepkovic, Jenny Meadows, has gone absolutely tearing out here. Well, it seems clear that she knows what she wants to do. She held back quite a bit in the heats. You could tell that she was raring to go. But I think it's the old adage if she thinks, well, I'm the fastest one here and the world record holder. Going back to this women's 3,000 metre steeplechase, if you've run eight and a half seconds faster than anybody else in the world, you feel you're in great shape this year as well. She leads the world list. She just thinks to herself, well, I train at this pace, nobody else can race at this pace, I'm just going to take full advantage, I'm going to make sure I make no mistakes, and this seems to be a tactic right from the off. Well, she's stretching them out early on, but the others at the moment happy to let her get on with it. The defending champion Emma Coburn in third place as she takes the next barrier, just behind Ki Yang, who's in second. So it's Kenya one and two at the moment, Chen Mutai is in four, then comes Yavi of Bahrain five. As Chepkowicz takes the next of those. We'll have a look at the technique when we come around to the water jump, by the way, and to see how all of the athletes in comparison take it. And just keep an eye on Emma Coburn's technique if we do get a, a chance to see her. As we see Krauser as well of Germany, the double European champion, is in that second chasing group of six or seven. Chespol as well, the all time number three, taking a, a wide outside line in around about seventh or eighth position at the moment as Chepkowicz. The leader approaches the water jump, lands relatively deep into it. Let's have a look at Coburn, who just like underneath anybody else, just seems to skip out of the water, Jenny. Yeah, she's a great exponent of this event. And actually, the two American athletes, there's some statistics done on the last World Championship, and it actually showed that because they had better clearances of that water jump, that's how they were able to conserve energy. They came home, of course with a brilliant gold and silver medal, and it looks like the great exponents of this event again.
Yeah, the uh, biomechanical study that was done after London 2017 suggested that Coburn and Frerich particularly were gaining a metre at every single water jump with their better technique, simply bouncing out of the water rather than landing flat-footed. 252.95 at 1,000 metres. Just to give you an idea, the pace in 2017 was 302 at the winning pace of Emma Coburn in this event two years ago was 302 at 1,000 metres. That is 10 seconds inside that. And I'm just wondering now what the minds of these athletes are thinking at this point. They've come into this World Championship final and did they expect this just to be a dominant run from the front? Did they expect this to be a time trial and they're all hanging on? It's really interesting to think how the mindset of these athletes is working right now. They're here, they're having to run faster than they've ever run before. Well, Beatrice Chepkoic's world record stands at 8 minutes 44.32. That was set in Monaco in July of last year. And the way she's gone herring out over the first 1,000 metres as she hits the four-lap-to-go marker, you'd have to suggest if she can maintain this, that is potentially coming under some threat. Chemutai heads the chasers at the moment. Still Coburn with that red bib as the defending world champion. Chespol and Yavi. And then comes Frerich. So high jumpers just make sure they're not getting in the way. And Krauser at the back of that chasing group of seven. But Chepkoic, as she makes her way down the back, probably leads by the best part of 40 metres. Yeah, it's a huge lead, isn't it? And I'm just looking on the face there of Emma Coburn. She knows what she's doing. She doesn't want to lead this pack out. She's sat in a really comfy position. But these ladies are operating at personal best times. Oh, and I've just watched her then as chess pole almost face planted at that barrier she just managed to keep herself upright well that is the uh, jeopardy in this event of course as particularly as athletes get more and more tired some people's techniques vastly differ from others but chep Koech is fluid and is floating along the track at the moment and is absolutely miles clear she's 50 meters in front as she comes past the winning line potentially in three laps from now the battle is going to be on, the Royal battle for the medals behind, but Chepkowitz at the moment is streaking clear. Fourth place, of course, at the Olympics in 2016. Fourth place at London in 2017, agonisingly missing the podium, but she's been the one to beat. Never landed a senior global medal has Beatrice Chepkowitz, but at the moment it might be lonely out there, but it doesn't feel too lonely when you're leading a world championship by this far. The, back, the chasing pack has been whittled down to four. There's just a little bit of a gap opening up there as they make their way down the back. Still Chemutai of Uganda and Kiyeng and Coburn and Yavi. They're the four who are just trying to get away from Courtney Frerich, who's hanging on to the back of that group as well and just closing it up again as they get to the barrier, coming to the water jump, which Chepkoic has just cleared and is coming around into the home straight. When she comes past this time, she'll have 800 metres remaining. Really interesting there to see the second one kilometre split. It dropped 10 seconds. It went from 2.52 to 3.02 and overall 5.55. So the pace is slowing. She can't possibly keep that pace up, but she has such a lead, of course. The gap is almost exactly as it was when they went round last time. The chasing pack clearing the barrier in the home straight as Chepkoic went over the finish line to be in two laps from now. Four, five, six still in contention for the silver and bronze at the moment if Chepkoic can keep it going out front. She's won 15 of her last 17 races in 2018 and 2019 and with tactics like this you can see why she was nine seconds ahead of Emma Coburn's pace when she won it two years ago. Just keeping an eye on that gap as they make their way down the back straight. It might have just been trimmed ever so slightly but it's still a very big one. It is, and a few stutters now at these barriers as these women start to get quite tired. Coburn is making a bold attempt to try and pull away from Kiyeng. But Kiyeng is still there, as is Yavi. They're coming round now, just approaching 500 metres to go. Well, the US record holder is Courtney Frerich at 9 minutes, 0.85. There's an opportunity for one of them to run inside nine minutes. And now the defending champion, Emma Coburn, has set out in pursuit of the leader. But there are only 400 metres remaining. Surely it's an insurmountable gap. The lady for whom it all went wrong last year, Beatrice Chepkoic, 
now has Emma Coburn in pursuit. She's five metres clear of Yavi, who's taken up the bronze medal position ahead of Ki Yeng, and then comes Krauser. As they make their way down the back straight, Chep Kovic beginning to tire. Coburn chipping away at that lead, but surely she's got too much to do, Jenny Meadows. Yeah, Kep Kovic has still got a good 50 metres, hasn't she? But I'm so, so impressed with Coburn here. And actually a great run from Grouse coming into third position, the German athlete. All sorts of positions are getting changed over this last lap. All these women operating at speeds they've never operated at before. And Kip Kovic was tired then, wasn't she? She almost went off track, but here she comes into the straight. Chip Kovic set out from the front to make amends for two years ago in London. She has one final barrier to clear, and she's over. Beatrice Chip Kovic, the fastest woman in the world, becomes the world champion here in Doha. Keep an eye on the clock. She's inside nine minutes, 8.57.85. Last year's winner... Two years ago, silver medal this time for Emma Coburn and Krauser of Germany has come through to take the bronze ahead of Yavi of Bahrain. Chemu Tai comes home ahead of Frerich and the very tired Ki Yeng. Well, what a chase on for the minor medals, as you said, Jenny Meadows, the positions were changing down the back straight. What a run from Krauser, the double European champion from 16 and 18. She's going to be close to her lifetime best in German record, 9.07. Actually, she's well inside it. She's taken four seconds off the German record, 9.03.30, to take the bronze. Chep Kovic from Coburn, from Krauser, are your medalists. Kep Kovic finally is the world champion. Oh, and she's trying to help a teammate up there. You can just see the disaster zone on the floor as all these women absolutely emptied themselves in this competition. Kayang will be disappointed, of course. She lost several positions on that last lap. She was in a great position with a couple of laps to go. Coburn was so, so strong, wasn't she? So, so gutsy. But what an absolutely fantastic medal for Chrysler, the German. She ran a national record. She paced herself from unbelievably well she just picked people off on that final 400 meters well Krause has gone into the all-time top 10 with that run it's a PB2 for Emma Coburn who has shaved a couple of tenths off her run but it's Chip Kovic making amends a championship record it was a championship record that Emma Coburn set when winning two years ago well Chip Kovic has that championship record as the icing on the cake a brave run she backed herself and to be honest, she was in a different parish for most of it. As the two come together, the two leading forces over the 3,000 metres steeplechase. And Gesser Krauser will come in to join that photo. A hard-earned world medal for her. So confirmation then, that front-running performance from Beatrice Chepkovic got her a championship record on that gold medal that she had been so keenly after. Emma Coburn did get a lifetime best, improving the time she posted to win in London in 2017. And Gessa Krauser with a German record, 9.03.30, took the bronze with a storming late charge past other ranks.